of rings during this ceremony. That has already occurred. This ceremony marks, well, it's a recognition, really, the new status and of, of this couple provides an opportunity for prayer and reflection and for expressions of support on the part of family and friends. And we see many family and friends in attendance awaiting any moment the arrival of Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles. Yes, in many instances, this is the first public act of their married life together. The theme is dedication and commitment, and the main focus is on prayer and support for the couple in their new life together. You're looking at scenes of the attendees in St. George's Chapel, Windsor, for the blessing of Prince Charles and Camilla. As part of the service, uh, both the couple will acknowledge their sins, their past mistakes and indiscretions and here we are about to see the two arriving in that beautiful Rolls Royce. Eyes no doubt will be on what outfit, sort of an ivory colored outfit for the actual ceremony. And as she uh, gets out of that Rolls Royce, she's in and we discuss a beautiful long coat actually. It's a beautiful coat in a sort of green, ivory green colour. And Charles uh, still decked out in his Savile Row tails. And the Archbishop of Canterbury there welcoming them for the service of prayer and dedication following their marriage. This, the Royal Highness, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, and Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cornwall, as they enter St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Let's watch and listen. Dollars. They sold out. Well, so you'd think that they may have copies of this. I mean, she does look absolutely mm. beautiful. Um, it, it, is, it has been really the revolutionizing well, they knew. of this knew woman. That this was, there was only one chance. This, she had to get this right. A lot of well, time has, has gone into it. it. We have to give yeah. her credit. We have one? Uh, Chris, as you were watching their demeanor, what did you make of it? Well, it would be interesting to see what the Queen does because, uh, you know, she's not terribly fond of Camilla. That's been established. Uh, on occasion, she's referred to her as that wicked woman. And uh, so I think that's what Britain is waiting to see, how the, the Queen is going to handle it. Again, I keep thinking about the boys as well. I think, uh, you know, you have to look at uh, how much they want their father to be happy, how they've adopted, actually embraced Camilla into their lives. I mean. I think the reason they've been able to do that without feeling that they're betraying their mother at all is because Camilla is absolutely nothing like their mother. I mean, their mother was young and stylish and, and uh, glamorous and, and complicated, and uh, Camilla is, is absolutely none of those things. And Camilla has made an effort not to try and be their stepmother. So uh, I think that's uh, one of the reasons that they're able to, uh, again, bring her into the family and, and, and feel well, very fondly toward her. I think they do. There we see the royal couple entering the chapel. Everyone rising. For just a moment there, he looked happier than she did. <laughs> yes, she looked a little concerned for it. I'm not mad at But this does strike me as more of a tone for a wedding than uh, the, the first uh, bit of it, the, the real part of it. Holy Ghost. Under the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.